Hi guys and welcome back to part 5 of Kato. So we just finished off the ritual with Mother in the Wildwood. It was very touching. And now we are out of there and we're off to another new location. We've said goodbye to our friends and their companions. So let's see what's up next for us. I thought I saw a magnifying glass for a second. Oh, look at that. A path back to the grassland just across the river. Okay. And over here we have a little house. Let's have a look around first. Seems like the house is all there is for us here. Let's go in. Oh, wonder who lives here. A, the little cartographer. After being led out of the wildhood, the little cartographer arrived at a strange building hidden amongst the trees. It's our autobiography. She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw just then. The story tender ended. Wow, <laughs> this is a mysterious place. Ah, there's that darn book. I've been looking everywhere. It's a good one, eh? I was thoroughly riveted. Couldn't put it down. And then when I did, I forgot where I put it. Ghost lilies, bear hugs, farting sheep. What an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> well, clearly you have a good taste. Welcome to the story chalet. We're not easy to find. You must have a nose for knowledge. I'm the story tender, and I take care of our rather unique library. You'll find lots to love here, and our stories are always changing. In fact, they've been changing rather quickly of late. I was just in the middle of sorting some books, but these old bones could use a break. Let me show you how things work around here. Wow, such an interesting storyline. And this is the desert wing of the chalet. Not to be confused with the dessert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Like I mentioned, each wing contains stories related to a specific area of the world. I recently started reading a good one in this very room. It was about an old lady searching for her granddaughter in the desert. <gasps> that must be our grandmother. I know, right? What a good premise. Well, when I left off, the granny was getting a bit exhausted. Oh no. I can see you're excited about learning. Oh, to be a curious young mind again. Well, off you go then. Have at these books. I'll be in the writing room. Just let me know if I can be of any assistance. Wow, so the books are true stories happening right now. Destination Desert. Searching the Sands. There was sand as far as the eye could see. It was inescapable between your sheets on your skin and your sandwiches. When the sandstorms were at their most fierce, the whole camps would be buried. Roots leading back to the grassland and the other neighbouring regions would disappear. These paths could be found again by intrepid adventurers or at times unwitting wanderers. Searching the sands. The desert could be a harsh place and was home to resilient nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life, often confounding the flora and fauna. And with the tumult, a wizened woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by a storm and yearned to be together. Wow. Anything else? Is that it? Uh, no, we don't need to read it again. That's alright. Okay, first floor. Nothing else in here for us. Little cactus icon seems to tell us what it's about. Okay. Um, is this the writing room? This is where he said he would be, right? Wait, is there a map? There's a map. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure where it is we want to go yet. Let's first check everything out. Hey there. The enigmatic story shop. Welcome to the writing room. This is where all of our stories are created, though I can't tell you how. It's not a secret, I just don't know. No one does. That thing magic over there just churns them out and has been for as long as anyone can remember. My job is to tend to the stories and that's good enough for me. If you'd like to know more about the story chalet, this is the room for it. I keep some of my other favourites here too. Okay, let's have a look at this. Deep in the forest, in an unmemorable corner, sits the story chalet. This peculiar building can be tricky to find when you're looking for it, but easy to stumble across when you aren't. It houses a remarkable library of books, overseen and catalogued by a story tender. These mysterious tomes are endlessly updated by an unseen hand, documenting stories and cultures around the world. 
The building itself is an architectural marvel with a deceptively simple facade that obscures its more sophisticated interior. Wowee. The observers above. The people served an essential function to chart the lands, noting any changes and shifting shifts over time immemorial. Sounds like that's what our grandmother does. They travelled by airship, quietly observing from high above, rarely disturbing the people below. The navigation skills were peerless, passed down through their collective memory of their ancestors. Simply, they were cartographers, by trade and by blood. Sweet story. Lovely written. A book lies open on the desk. Nearby, a typewriter taps steadily on its own. Spooky. Okay, we can go through here, right? Okay. Second floor. The gathering of magic boots. The grassland has found endless ways of improving their lives through clever applications of plants. Using an almagat. Uh, I know this word. Uh, um, amalgam. amalgam. <laughs> uh, um, um, you know what I mean. <laughs> amalgam of different rubber plants. They created a new type of footwear. These magic boots could be stretched to fit any size foot and raise the running speed of its wearers. Like an amalgamation. Amalgam. Yeah. Amalgamation. The last known pair awaits someone bold enough to sport them. Somewhere in the grassland wing of the basement two of the story chalet. Grassland wing of basement two of story chalet. Oh, there's still something here. No. Maybe it's just like that to remind us that like there's something, you know, if we get stuck that that's where the, the clue is. Good night, sleepy sheepy. Sympathy for red devils. Ganga style. Ballad of the sour potato. Traditional. Begonia bop. Monka's mournful melody. Hey there, Dahlia. <laughs> Cute. Nomads of the grassland. Nomads by nature, the people of the grassland typically migrate once a generation. They travel to barren lands, bearing seeds and ancient irrigation techniques. The grasslanders are deeply attuned to their flora, listening to the voice of its earth and coaxing its growth through song. By the time the next generation migrates, the land they leave behind is a fertile paradise. Wow. Okay, if we go here, this takes us down a level. Back to the entry. One of our pieces is missing. Okay, let's go back up. There was definitely another one. We could see it from here. Huh. Where would this take us? When in doubt, ask a book. Basement level two for grasslands. Let's see, so if we went here, and then we went downstairs, we would get here. This one doesn't have a door to go down again. This one does. But we need to go down from here. Basement level two of the grasslands. There we go. Did we get it? Oh, there are the boots. Sneaky sneakums. Our inventory is full now. Okay, and I mean, where would this door take us? No way. Alright, well that just took a second to, to wrap our heads around. Ooh, 
Nice boots. I didn't notice them when you first arrived. They look like they can get you where you need to go. I sure hope so. I bet you're eager to get back outside and put those boots to use. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Oh, more to our story, it seems. With her fancy new boots, the little cartographer knew that nothing could stop her. She would head out to cross the river and find her way to the desert and where she hoped her grandmother waited. Oh. Entrance first floor. The inky beige liquid. An inky beige liquid. Is that ink? Beige ink? Sounds odd. And the store doesn't take us anywhere either. Nope. Alright, well. Off we go with our new boots on a new adventure. Alright, so now I assume we can cross this with our new boots. Hey, we can! Because rubber boots move through water. Okay, what does this say? Trail to grassland. Return to the grassland. Yes, I think so. Welcome back, little wood sprite. We were worried when you disappeared. Did you happen to see the ghost lily? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I figured I'd ask. Monka will be sad to hear it. I think he was still holding out hope. But everyone will be glad to have you back. Though I know that look in your eye. Are you on your own secret mission now? Hmm, you're looking for somewhere sandy? I don't know of such a place, but sometimes Mo the Shepherd arrives home covered in sand. Maybe Mo knows where Mo goes. He should be with his sheep. Alright, well I'm glad we were reunited with our friends. Let's see. Okay. We should put a couple things back the way they were, right? Hmm. Okay, well let's not let's not go too crazy, but let's uh put some stuff back. Um, yes, yes, just in case, <laughs> no, oh yeah, that's a dead end, oops, ah, <laughs> uh, okay, cool, that's fine, great, let's go find more. Hmm, here he is, oh, he needs to sleep again, of course. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Wake up, Mo! <laughs> wow, My sheep! Let me see my sheep! They're right here. Wait, all of my sheep are here. Why did you wake me up? Hmm, where do I get Sandy? Don't tell my dad. But I don't know. Sometimes I just wake up that way. Maybe I can show you when I'm asleep. I'm wide awake now, but there are probably some plants that can knock me out. But I'm no plant expert. You want to see where I get sandy? You might have to put me to sleep with some plants. Okay. So. Okay, the lady who sings the plants isn't here. Where is everyone else? Ah, the teacher's down here. That's nice that the character's avatar appears for the character that you're looking for. Um, yeah, she was by the junction. Oh, <laughs> with the sheep again. Hello again. Oh, are those new boots? You're certainly making good time in them. But you must be tired from running around so much. Children, what plans can we use to help our friends sleep soundly tonight? I know, I know. Pick me, pick me. It's not a competition. Everyone can answer. I think each of the children has something to tell you. When you gather the plants, put them inside this pot. Okay. Pick me. Whisper grass. When the wind blows through it, it sounds like a bunch of people going shh. I saw some at the mouth of the river. Slumber stalk. Its stems have a gentle fragrance that make everyone sleepy. It grows in the center of a field of yellow leaves. Dozing daisies. They slowly nod and make everyone around them tired. There are a bunch planted near the circle road. Circle road. Hmm. Okay. I think we need to figure out the river and stuff with the circle road. Hmm. It's not this dead end. Let's check the mouth of the river. Oh. 
Let's see if this guy's okay. <gasps> you. Tell me you saw a young sapling. Tell me you saw the ghost lily. No, I'm sorry. I was just so excited when it appeared. And since you disappeared right after, I thought you may have found it. Ah, uh, well, it will bloom again, eventually. Okay, so. I mean, this is the Martha River, right? Plants must have grown near the Martha River. Mm. Maybe we do them in order. I don't see anything. I mean, besides for this, maybe. That looks a little unique. Hmm. I don't think it's these yellow flowers. I thought it might be these. Hmm. Pot for flowers. Okay. Let's think. Whoops. We do. Oh, there we go. Okay, so some map manipulation is required. Oh, I'll see any ladies back. All right, we got one. Let's have a chat with her. She's still humming away. Okay. Circle road. So now, actually, to save some running, I'm gonna walk onto this tile. So if we do this, shoot, we don't have enough pieces to make a circle road, unless it will appear, aha, there we go, okay, circle road, do do do, who are you, here we go, okay, now, mouth of the river, I wonder, do we need to add more green on here? Hmm. found them, don't show them to me though, I want to stay up late. This is it, it smells like a butt to me, gross. There's some whisper grass by the mouth of the river, you know, right next to both of them. Oh, the mouth of the Mimi. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. Right next to the river. And the open ocean. <clears throat> okay. No. That's a no. Next to the river. And the open ocean. Do do. Do do. River and the open ocean. Put it in though, come on. <sighs> okay. No. Hmm. 
I mean, do we just place it, like, nearby? It's kind of the wrong direction. The river... And the open ocean. Ah, oh, there we go. Aha, that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> Just like a little bit of extra thinking. Cool. Uh, I mean, this is the new tile. Yeah. So, yep, this one. All right, so I guess now we'll get back to the teacher. The children are also knowledgeable about plants. I'm so proud. And now what? She found it. Okay, so I guess we just we just take them to mow then. Wide awake. Flowers for me and the sheep. Yawn. How thoughtful. More flowers? You're really. Yawn. Spoiling us. <laughs> oh, he's a sleepwalker. Oh, here we go. Would you like some more tea, Penelope? Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so we're not too far. We're still in the same sort of region. Oh, and here we are in the Sandland. Oh, and the music's changed. I like it. I like it. This is a fun tune. Aha, map pieces. And a new friend. Two new friends. <gasps> Three new friends. Look at this camel. Hi, boy. Such steadfast mounts. Such steadfast mounts are boys. They're able to conserve water in their bodies, the clever things. It makes them too heavy to cross the yellow sands, but it's helpful to have extra water around just in case. It's a good thing we found those cacti when we did. <laughs> That's it. It's got a cute face. Whew. You must be part young sister. I wish we had more to offer you. We're down to our last few cacti, and Granny Newer is looking a bit worse for wear. I'm fine. Yes, yes, of course you are. We were barely able to set up this camp in time before the sandstorm rolled in. The rest of our unit headed west across the yellow sands. Are you familiar with our desert? Be careful in the yellow sands. They're ever shifting. And the landscape around you can change in a heartbeat. The white sands around us are calm. You can always use them to find your way back. Okay, white sands, calm. Yellow sands, shifting. Sigh. When did I get so old? You'd better believe I'm sharp as a cactus, but my body feels like an ancient temple these days. Sandy and full of skeletons. Enjoy it while you can, kiddo. Beautiful, isn't she? This golden desert of ours. Curves as far as the eye can see. Ha! We used to have a lush oasis all to ourselves, but it dried right up. We've been searching for another water source ever since. The elders told of a desert haven. We're hoping to find water there to sustain us. Yes, even your elders have elders. Captain Smiler went looking for the desert haven, but we haven't heard from her since. I do hope that goal's all right. Okay, well, let's see. Ooh. Are these? <laughs> Yellow sands. Okay. Looks like we're in for another conundrum. 
We'll join the others to the west just as soon as I'm rested. To the west. If you brave the yellow sands, keep heading west to find the rest of our sisters. If you do, please tell them we haven't seen the captain yet. She's a strong woman, but this sort of thirst can break even the strongest of us. Okay, west across the yellow sands. Oh, what's this to look at? Some equipment and supplies dusted with sand. Right before we <laughs> scared to even touch it. Anything else around? Anything else we should note? Okay. Guess we're gonna be diving right in. But I think before we do that, I'm gonna end this part off right here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.